Anyway, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Bill Wackner. Uh, many of you uh, have probably heard me on YouTube, seen me on YouTube, and uh, um, I've got, I don't know, 300 videos on there. It's all about different things about clam digging and crabbing and associated topics and that kind of stuff. So, you know, when, I, when we go out and we dig clams or we take crabs, that uh, we don't always uh, get our limits. And, um, and that's just a fact of life and is mo no, no more evident than when you see my videos on YouTube because there's a, quite a few where you'll see me not catching anything, which I really don't like. So it, it, it you know, it, it makes you, it gives, fills you with that desire to be successful at what you do. And, uh, and that's what I do when I'm uh, doing this. So this class is sponsored by Lincoln City, the, uh, the Visitors Bureau. And uh, Lincoln City is a very proactive community when it comes to uh, the environment and the things that go on within the environment around uh, Lincoln City. Um, I think every city in the Oregon coast should follow the example set by Lincoln City when it comes to uh, to what they uh, how they treat the uh, recreational assets that uh, that are within the city's uh, domain. And with that, we'll get. Another beautiful clam digging day in Salette's Bay for purple varnish clams. Oregon's easiest clam to dig, except for me. Here we go, our class participants. Digging our clams. And here we go. Out into the tidal flats. Well, let's have a look, see how. Uh, a family with kids and people out here you know, take a walk about well, here we are in the main body of our group we have to see if we can't get him to go up there whoops fall down Bill. Go on, pull it out. There you go. Just drag it out of there. Boy, you gotta wonder which came first, the chicken or the egg? <laughs> You'd probably be doing better if we got you a little drier sand. Seagulls are getting their their share. Wet sand digging. It can be fun. I like wet sand digging when it, for razor clams. Basically, because the razor clams are a lot sh shallower in the substrate when you have in the wet sand. out. I know it's 
Yeah, that, okay, that's yeah, too that's small. Awesome.